Hey guys, Mike Patterson here. Um, we're going to be putting in the Rampage storage rack for my Jeep Wrangler. Uh, it'll go in the back, give me two different levels. I can put tools on the bottom, I can put more fragile stuff on top like cameras and drones. Uh, this is what it looks like on the ground here. We're going to get it going here. Um, I got the lights all set up so you'll be able to see as I install it in the Jeep. Uh, it is going to bolt in here, if you can see there, where the rear seats bolt down into it. There's gonna be two clamps that bolt in on the bottom of the rear roll bar, and then it's gonna come across here. Shouldn't be too hard, at least uh, it's not supposed to be too hard. So I'm going to get it going, um, going to get the rack, put it up here on the workbench and get the first part done and then we'll continue and get it installed in the Jeep. Okay, first things first, we're going to install the, um, the rack assembly to the actual cargo shelf itself. Um, it's pretty straightforward, three washers, one bolt on each side. Um, of course, two washers on the outside, one in the center. Um, and then we'll uh, get those tightened up. Then the next step will be to put these rings right here uh, onto the post in the Jeep. Right there. So here are the bolts. So these bolts are going to go through here and here. And we'll do that right now. All right, bolt goes on the outside. So one washer. The outside like so. One washer in between. Through the hole. Another washer. And the bolt itself. Now we're gonna do now we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So I believe now the next piece of the puzzle is the gas shock and we'll get that installed. Then after that we'll put those rings on and then we'll actually start mounting it in the Jeep. All right, now the gas shock is installed and I'll show that to you right now. Okay, now we're gonna install the rings right here. Uh, just like so but on the opposite side so right here pull this up out of the way we're going to install this right there don't want to get any wires caught in there need to run that wire outside of this bolt so as to not cut it. If you can't see the wire I'm talking about, is right there. Once it's tight and it doesn't move, bring it back a few so it does move. Because I'm gonna have to rotate it around because we need that big bolt on the outside. That one right there. Okay, on to the next step. Going to be getting this bolt right here 
I'm done because that's where the bottom portion is. Bottom portion of the rack is going to bolt into. That's right here on this side as well. So from this point forward, we're going to uh, get this rack inside the Jeep. Got to get those two bolts undone and get this portion right there bolted down into the rear of the Jeep. Then we're gonna leave everything a little bit loose so we can adjust it until it's just right for the clamping, for the actual brackets to clamp down because this one will raise. And then once everything is done, should fit and shouldn't rattle. The key's gonna be to go out and see if it actually rattles. If it does, come back, make some adjustments until it doesn't. Now that we have the rack in the Jeep, we gotta mount up to the two rear bolts that I talked about before. It might be kinda of hard to see in here. I did put a light down so you can see. But right back there is the leg coming down from the shelf. And those legs have to be bolted to the two screws that bolt the rear seats into place. So I'm gonna Next, I'm going to crawl in there, mount those in, get them situated. Then we will work on the top right up there. Once those are all in, we'll make sure everything's level. Then, once everything's level, we'll tighten it all up and see how it works. So, we got to get this bolt through here into there. And remember, all this is fairly loose right now because I want to be able to adjust it afterwards. It also all fits in here pretty snug. So it takes a little muscle. How'd that work? <laughs> There she goes again. All right guys, I'm gonna get this one in. It's gonna take a little jostling. I don't wanna keep knocking the camera over. So I will be right back. Okay, so now I got the rack in. This is what it looks like currently. I've put this bolt in, that bolt, two bolts down below. Now what I have to do is adjust this whole thing. One, so it's level. Two, so it latches well. Because this is a latch to make it go up and down right there. And uh, right now I gotta level it all up, tighten it all up, so that'll be sturdy. And we can get on with it. Now that it's in, I'm going to tighten up the two rings on the side. Uh, now that I have it leveled, I'm gonna tighten those up good. Make sure the lever works well to release, release the system. Make sure it goes up fine. As long as all that works, then we're done. Okay, so last but not least, the two hooks on the underside. Let me show you where those are at. We just gotta tighten them up in the proper position. So, these hooks right here, a little tiny place for an Allen key right there so you can tighten them up exactly where you want them. I'm gonna do that right now. Okay, so, rack is installed. I'd say uh, probably about a 40 minute job, not much more. It, uh, it went pretty smooth. Um, just read the instructions. The instructions are pretty vague, but should be enough to get you through it. I hope my video has been a little bit helpful. Uh, let's take a quick look here at the uh, at the rack. So we reach just right underneath and pick it up. So if you have something taller and you want to slide in, you can. And slide my carpet bag now that I'm done. So pretty cool, you can slide that up uh, if you need to put in something taller. But for me, the cool thing 
is I can now put heavier stuff and stuff that I don't want to crush my camera gear or drones or other stuff down on the bottom. And I can put everything else here up here on top. You can see it behind me. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Uh, I think it's going to work pretty good. I can put uh, my more durable, heavier stuff on the bottom, whether it's a jack, um, trailer hitch, stuff for my cycling tools. I can put camera gear, drones, whatever's fragile up on top, casserole for my in-laws, who knows what I'll throw up there. Um, just for the sake of sliding around and noise, I will say I'm definitely gonna get a rubber mat to put on the top of that. Uh, it's just, if you can see, it's just a piece of steel up there. Uh, so as it stands, unless whatever you put back there has rubber on the bottom, everything will just slide around. Uh, but a quick fix, Home Depot rubber mat, front door mat. Uh, dimensions are about two by three, so that should be easy to find. Uh, anyway, thanks for tuning in. If you have any questions, hit me up in the comments below. Uh, I'll put a link to this product below. Um, and uh, we'll see you soon. Uh, should have another video coming out in a few days. Uh, probably won't have anything to do with the Jeep. Might be doing something with my kids. Um, so have a great day. We'll see you soon. Take care.